What's going on my fellow residents, it's me the Frozen Cavern and today we're going to continue our journey through Sonic Colors. In the last episode we completed Asteroid Coaster, well actually we went through the, uh, I can't speak. We went through the entire world and right now we're going to go into the flashing red game land and see what's happening there. Okay, so nothing looks different so far. Yeah, all these, yeah all these me's here. Can I get back to Sonic? Okay, there we go. Uh, gonna keep that on three. However, we are going to go into the sixth one, which is based off Asteroid Coaster. Alright, so everything here is blue. Oh, forward, okay. Ow. Dang it. Yeah, okay, that was stupid. Let's actually just dodge them this time. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no! I was about to fall off the edge there, and I'm pretty sure of it. Because actually moving throughout here is actually pretty difficult. Because for whatever odd reason, like turning is really... It's really like stiff. Well, not stiff. It's. I don't know. It's weird. Alright. Finally made it to a checkpoint. I don't know what the ball there was for. Oh, it was for rings. Because I'm probably going to need those, but. Like an idiot, I didn't take any of them. Uh, let's go that way. Oh, God. Of course. Of course I fell. Alright. Alright, let's go. And this time I'll probably just go onto the bottom to avoid, you know, falling again. There we go. Like, I'm pretty sure the top way is actually faster, but... Okay, couldn't see a thing there, so I'm very lucky that I didn't die. Alright, up here. Uh, come on. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, there we go. And don't go faster than this wall. Uh, do I go to the right? I'm gonna go to the right. Because I'm pretty sure I have to go there. God, spikes. And I can't get hit by these. Uh, I wanted to jump, but whatever. Oh, it literally didn't make a difference. Alright. Give me the thing. There we go. There we go, we made it. Thankfully, without getting a game over. Alright, so now that we have that over with, let's head all the way out. And into this last area. Whatever it is. Let's just head there. Because he destroyed all my generators. Yeah, I assume well, the game wasn't over. Control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh. The last laugh. How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yeah, I laugh last all the time. People look at me like I'm an idiot. Forget about it. That's because you are an idiot. I didn't th actually think about that like that. <laughs> You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you. Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit busting my batteries over here. I've been working on it all day. What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. In a few seconds, it won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind. What's that, boss? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
You know, it just hit me. How does Eggman have all, like, the money or whatever to actually make all of this stuff? Because keep in mind, he has to make all this and he also had to connect everything to the world and all that. I figured it would just cost a lot, and why did everything just explode? I want to assume that's the mind control, but I don't know. Because one of those lasers definitely exploded. No! This can't be happening! It's backfiring! Impossible! How? Ta da! Yo, what do you mean impossible? Your plans have been crushed by Sonic for like, eh, ever! He stopped you like it's his job or something. In fact, I can't remember a plan he didn't stop. What are you talking about? He hasn't stopped all of them. Name one. Um... Read the attention panel. Thank you, buddy! Hey, my voice! It's back! All right! Ah. There's the sweet sound by auditory processors. No I man. would much more appreciate now, the other two voices. Nobody changed his voice chip. Yeah. No matter. I may have suffered a setback, but this thing's far from over. I will crush Sonic. The man gets an A for effort, that's for sure. All right, that was actually a pretty long uh, cinematic, but we are... Oh, this is actually a really, really small world. Well, this is kind of like the uh, elevator shaft level thing. Hey, Tails? Yeah? I got a bad feeling about this. Good, so it's not just me. When I feel the ground shaking under my feet and see plumes of dust rising and rubble tumbling and aliens running for their lives, yeah, I get a bad feeling. So, how about you and me make like Eggman's hairline and recede? Uh, this isn't joke time. Wow. This is running to the space elevator time. Sorry, couldn't help myself. We're out of here. Yeah, we're running now. Sonic throwing the absolute shade. Uh, terminal velocity. Oh, so that's just the name of this place. Hey, it's these guys again, as if you're not in, like, every Sonic game, ever. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna get those coins. <coughs> I needed to cough for the longest time, but I kinda didn't want to do it over a cutscene. Well, dang it. I'm just trying that. Wait, they literally just flew upward into that. Oh, I should be jumping, huh? I can't jump. No, 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 okay. And I need to make sure I actually jump here. Alright, let's just boost through here. Uh. This is a really long section. Oh, okay. Something tells me we're gonna be running down here for a while. Oh wait, I need to actually save this, I think. Okay, so that wall didn't stop him, unfortunately. What sucks is that I cannot run any faster. Sonic, it must really hurt having to run through all those walls. There's a lot of jumping here. Okay, can this thing please die now? It's been punching for quite a while. A 
That was very abrupt. Whatever, on to the next act. Yeah, this... Oh, boss? Huh. Alright then. Thought there would have been another level before that, but whatever. I don't know subtitles. There are no lines, and I've saved the best rides for last. At least let me stab your hand so you can come back in. I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. So just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Curse you, Sonic! Not only do you foil my Sonic, plan, don't you do the same exact thing? As well. I work hard on them. No matter, I will destroy you, and I will be victorious! Is that better? Like a million times better. Thank you. Still cliched, but... Special. He's powered by the energy from your little friends. He is invincible! So I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit I'm a little scared. I don't think we can beat this guy. See you on the ground, buddy. Sonic, no! Just got one last thing to do. As for you. Imagine if this was like Telltale. That would that would make almost as much sense if this was a Telltale game. Where are we now? Where did this area come in? Huh, okay, so that barely tell- I can't speak. That barely told us anything. Ow. Oh god! Okay, so now he's using the abilities of all the, uh, Wisps. And please tell me those ten coins are not the only ones I get. Ugh, oh, that way. Ah, he's right in front of my face. Oh god. I have to jump over those. Okay. Yep, okay. Yeah, Q's relatively easy to dodge, but... Whenever the other ones activate, it's just really quick with it. Jump. Jump? No! Okay. Okay, maybe I should try double jumping. Whenever I get that. here. Alright, and he usually does spikes next, but that could easily change. Okay, so we are having spikes again. Okay, yeah, so just double jump over those. Okay, I can hit those. Cool. I was wondering why those are there all the time, and they just didn't do anything. Yay, more rings. Give me those. Alright, so now I'm pretty sure- oh god. Oh god, jump over that. But, now I'm pretty sure that all of this- well, he'll have uh, two cycles for every attack. Well, two attacks for every cycle, I mean. Yep, and now he'll be in my face, so now I can go up and attack. And, boom. The middle's rings. He's really close, okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna use Frenzy here, but uh... Oh, we have spikes now! Also doesn't help that all of my rings are now gone, because that's how Sonic works. There we go. Oh god, do you still you still have an extra cycle? No, you don't. Okay. And come on, boom. Oh, aliens, cool. I can't use either of you, but 
So I guess I can just keep hitting him until all the aliens are free. Oh god, how are these two going to be combined? Oh. Well, that was ridiculously easy to dodge still, but... Clever way of using them. Oh god. Okay. I tried to get in close so I could attack him, but it didn't work. Okay, so this one is actually pretty decently difficult to actually dodge, because you have to dodge the uh, spikes as well. Ow, dang it. Oh no. Oh, I have to do the whole boss over? Alright, so now we're back here, and I immediately take a hit. That's nice. I'm actually pretty amazed that I dodged that, but that's actually relatively easy to dodge. One more, and boom. Oh, right, I have to do... A lot more, actually. And I didn't get a single one of those rings, which are really hard to get, which, yeah. Oh, am I done? Oh, no, I'm not. I still can't get these rings, though. Oh, wow, this is a really long path here. Okay, I managed to get that. Always the one that gets me out of nowhere. Come on. Stop. Alright, cool. And by the way, I do hear the uh, remix Sonic Generations theme in the background. Not Sonic Generations, Sonic Colors, wow. Alright, so I should be done. Oh, unlimited color apparently is a thing. Go. And that was that boss, but we do still have one more thing to go. But what else do we really have left? I mean, well, we do still have to, you know, leave, but... Oh, my head! Who turned out the lights? At Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, you can feel comfortable knowing your safety is our number one. Oh, shut up! Yeah, this is pretty much imploding on itself. And this would be our final level. Oh, we're just gonna hop right into it, okay.
Oh god. The stupid camera angle change caused me to do that. Okay, just don't press anything. There we go. Alright, this doesn't seem hard yet, but... Now we're adding these. Okay, just land these faces. And this is just here to psych us out. How are any of us still alive? Hedgehog's gotta do. Great job, Sonic. Thanks, but I had a little help during that last part. <laughs> okay, so I guess the frenzy ones are negative ones? I just assumed that all of them were good, but... I guess not. Uh, he said, thank you for saving us. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for saving us. Uh, he says, you are welcome. That thing's translating pretty good. Yep, I finally got all the kinks out. We can talk to them perfectly. Yeah, at the end of the game where it's not needed at all. That was Sonic Colors, I'm assuming, unless there's some other thing here that might come after these credits, which I'm assuming won't happen, but yeah, that was Sonic Colors, at least as far as I know. But music, always good. For every Sonic game, the music's pretty good. Um, when it comes to levels, my favorite, my favorite has to be Aquarium Park. That has to be my favorite world. The favorite music in my opinion, and well... When it comes to like the surroundings and the music, Aquarium Park. When it comes to the gameplay, hmm. I don't know which one to put for gameplay wise. Because, um Asteroid Coaster, like once again, when it comes to cosmetics and all that, that one's uh top notch as well, but gameplay wise I did, you know, die a lot there, but, um, to be honest, I'd have to put probably Tropical Resort when it comes to gameplay, and I know that's the beginning of the game, but at the same time, not like it can't be your favorite part. Um, the Wisp mechanic, hmm, I feel like the Wisp mechanic wasn't really utilized as much as I feel like it should have been. Because there were plenty of times where you would like use... I, like, I'm pretty sure the Laser Wisp was actually used the least amount of time. That or it was the, uh... 
what was it, the drill one, because those two didn't really have that much of a purpose, to be honest. Um, hmm, what else is there? Bosses. Now, bosses, the fact that, like, half of them are reskins, you know, sucks. Um, and I can't really choose a favorite, except for, like, the very end, because pretty much all the other ones weren't really that good, to be honest. Um, and also, I'm really surprised that the game actually ended here. I thought this would have gone on a little bit longer, but I guess this game is actually pretty short. Actually, I just realized it's the same amount of parts as the SpongeBob SquarePants Let's Play, but actually this one's ending first. By the way, I already have the SpongeBob uh, Let's Play recorded. I've completely beaten the game. It just takes time to actually, you know upload those because daily and hmm is there really anything else I need to mention like like was there really a, a, a uh, an explained reason why Eggman's plan backfired on him because it kind of just flickered and just backfired on him immediately and there wasn't really an explained reason as to why. Everything kind of just happened. Like, it almost seems like faulty equipment was the reason why that, uh, why that went wrong. Hmm. And then, the ending did kind of feel abrupt, mainly because Act 2 of the of Terminal Velocity was, like, really short. I... I kind of expected that to be a, a lot longer than what the uh, level was, which, you know, doesn't help for the end, but... Hmm. Jesus Christ, this song is long, though. Like, I know it has to fill in the credits, but at the same time... Can I actually hit these? Yes, I can. Oh, well, that's not gonna be much. Yeah, there's not really much else I can do. So yeah, favorite cosmetic-wise, Aquarium Park. Favorite gameplay-wise, probably Tropical Resort. Like, I can't really say, because... I'm not gonna lie, most of them felt the same, except for, well... Starlight Carnival and, um, Asteroid Coaster, some of the parts felt the same, but... Oh, well, song ended abruptly, but, um... Oh, did it, does the credits go even longer? God dang it. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out what's my favorite one gameplay-wise. To be honest, I'm probably going to have to go with Asteroid Coaster despite dying so many times. Because that was one of the ones that really had one of the more unique levels, and then, you know, water levels in a Sonic game, they don't really help that much, to be honest. Hmm. I'm not gonna go stereotypically and say Planet Wisp, even though it was in Sonic Generations, but... Yeah. Like, there was just something about Planet Witch that didn't really do much. It might have been that one part where, um, if you messed up, you would have to restart a certain area, but... Yeah. Um, Sweet Mountain. That's probably going to have to actually be my least favorite. It kind of just seemed bland. Like, everything was just there. Hmm, um, is there any other worlds I'm missing? Tropical Resort, Sweet Mountain, Planet Wisp, Aquarium Park, Asteroid Coaster, and then Starlight Carnival. Okay, Starlight Carnival. Hmm.
I'm trying to see. Yeah, I think Starlight Carnival actually has to be my least favorite, to be honest. I mean, Sweet Mountain did feel a little bland, but Starlight Carnival also felt like incredibly just random. And for those of you who don't know me, I like to have consistency. So Starlight Carnival was not really all that good. But yeah, I'm also including pretty much the bosses. Um, to be honest, the best boss other than the final boss would probably have to be... Um, to be honest, it would probably have to be the one in Sweet Mountains. Because pretty much every other boss was really negative. Like, the first one, you only had to do platforming. If you can do platforming, easy. And then the one in Planet Wisp was only slightly harder. And then... Um, what was it? I'm forgetting the name. Jesus. Why am I forgetting it? Um, Aquarium Park. That boss was pretty much a copy of um, Sweet Mountain. However, it had water, so that automatically deducts it, making it slower. And then also the mechanic of, you know, having to use the rockets um, while the, you know, other obstacles around it was... Um, messing it up, so, also adding a layer of annoyance there. Um, and then, Starlight Carnival and Asteroid Poster, hmm, those two didn't really feel that different other than you have to do like one extra thing at the end for Asteroid Coaster. It just didn't help. Oh, I guess I can hold this then. Or not. Alright, and this should be the end. I think we still have one more song. These credits are long, Jesus. I'm like, I don't want to skip this either. By the way, um, I've been out for like two hours. So I've had this going for like two hours. I'm going to edit it out, but... Jesus. But yeah, I pretty much talked about everything that I really need to. Like, this game's pretty short. I thought that this game would be uh, longer than I expected. But yeah, I pretty much talked about everything there is to uh, talk about in this game. And unfortunately, you can't really do you can't really do much in these uh, after credits. It's just you know just destroying everything and like yeah, you can't really do much else. Unfortunately, and to be honest, it's kind of just boring. So yeah, I'm hoping these credits end soon, so I can actually end the video, because this takes way too long. Okay, how about this? I'm going to edit to the end, and if there's something else, then I'll include that there, but... If there isn't, I'm just gonna edit the rest of these credits out. All right, finally we have something Miller. Put your backsides into it. Technically, we don't have backsides, boss. I don't care. Just push. We have to hurry. I already have my revenge planned out, and next time I will not fail. Of course you won't, boss. Of course you won't. On the bright side, a certain someone got their voice back. 
I feel like my own staff. All I want to do is talk, talk, talk. Hey, remember when we were chasing those little alien guys? What's up with those things anyway? They sure were funny looking. Ha <laughs> ha, smell that though? Duh. What I wouldn't give for the maddening silence of space right about now. Hey, I heard they started using fish. Bummer we didn't bring any with us. Not that we can eat it since we're robots, but we could have looked at it. I love looking at stuff. I love stuff. If I were sure it was great. Hey, I'd like to ask, how did Eggman survive all this stuff? Because... He you know, a lot of the time he's kind of just, you know, sent out into a random area, like right now. He's just in space, and he kind of has no hope for getting back. So, yeah, just wanted to point that out. But, yeah, this was pretty much the end, going to skip that. Well, the intro. So, yeah. Just a little second. This has been Sonic Colors. Been a been a fun game been a good ride so till the next video take care